able to help other people. That's what it's all about with me. You're not going to ever be able to sit around and say, I'm doing all the stuff that I'm doing because I have my own self-interest involved. And then you can see the sun backing me up as if to say, I don't care what no one says or think about this guy. I know who he is because I'm the one that appointed him. And you don't think that I'm an idiot, do you? But you guys want to sit on and make your Jesus be greater than the sun and those UFOs. And everything that I've been telling you about your hoarding and everything and making it hard for me to exist is going to get you moved off this earth and completely put out of the way. I wanted to show you this statue so you can see the true dynamic of who I am. This is when I was on the earth the last time. As you can see, I was hated then. Look, they broke the statue. You can see they got all the pieces and put them back together. If you look around the neck area, you can see how they got all those little pieces to put back together, see? Do you see? And then look at the statue itself. They shot wood holes all in it, see? And then finally pushed it over, I guess, and broke it. Just jealous, just like me and I right now to this day. You know, just like they are to this day. They can't stand the divine energy that's in us melanated gods. They just can't stand it, you know? So, here go my antiquity right here. As you can see around the eyes, it looks green. And the reason why is because Asar is the god of regeneration. And that's why I be saying to you guys, you better watch what you say and do around me. The interactions that you have is really important because let me tell you something. This ain't no joke. I mean, I'm going to tell you the truth. It is. This ain't no joke what you're working with right now. You understand? This is the real deal for real, you know? And so I ain't come out here to attack white people. I ain't come out here to attack black people. Came out here with a job to do, and I did it. I'm so tired, too. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I am really tired. I learned a lot. I can remember speaking into the radio, asking anybody who knew about this stuff to come and help me. I ain't getting no help. People too damn busy, I guess. But I tell you one thing. I learned a lot on how this works. I don't have the equipment that I need, but I know when I get the equipment that I need, I'm going to be really awesome. I'm going at, I want to make me some movies. That's what I want to do. I'm going to do me some documentaries and all that good stuff like that so I can help people that want more of this information. I'm going to be moving to another page. It's going to be called Green Light Essence. Okay. This uh, page right here, I saw, saw Ra, the Tepper Ra, Ra Ma'at, is one of, I got another page, it's called I saw, saw Ra, I got a page, I saw Ra, and I got a page, I saw Ra, the Tepper Ra Ma'at, you know what I mean? And so I'm just saying that to let everybody know that it's all good, we uh, we having fun, you know? What we supposed to be doing? I took the responsibility of doing this because the universe wanted someone that would be diligent, and um, that's just what I am. Very diligent, and I've been that way from day one. Always serious about getting my job done. Look at that. Do I look like that guy? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Or does that guy look like me? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Anyway, I'm having a real good time. I want to thank everybody for joining me in. You can look at me, look for me at Green Light Essence. It's probably going to be my next page. This page has got way, way too many videos in it. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Green Light Essence ain't going to be based on this type of dialogue I'm going to be going deeper into comedic. I'm going to get some books and some DVDs and I got some DVDs already that I haven't put in the computer. I've been getting most of my stuff off YouTube but I have hours of DVDs that I can employ start showing some different 
circumstances of us as the people around Kemet and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So the whole world could be more involved with regenerating our earthly circumstances. We need to format togetherness so we can all be one accord at repairing our drinking water, repairing our soil, repairing the minds of our children, and repairing and eradicating a go nowhere government. So many of them to do with such a lousy job. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And the most important thing of all, everybody needs to focus on understanding that the true God of all the universe is yourself. There is no better God than you because you and I are one. And once we all know that, we're all going to recognize the importance of treating each other as God and goddesses. And once we all start recognizing that as an important, most important attribute that we can each have possession of, what's going to happen is that just by us repairing our spiritual essence of thought, we cannot do anything but repair everything around us. When you be so conscious as not to walk on a plant because you know that plant is going to be damaged if you walk on it, that is proof that you have graduated from being an animal into becoming a god or a goddess or a human being. But a human being means you, H-U-E, man, M-A-N, being. You're not a human being if you say you are a white man or if you say you are a black man. If you say you are a melanated man, you have, or a melanated woman, you have graduated all of the description, descriptive selections and went straight to the state of who you are. If you say you are a god or a goddess, you have even succeeded the melanated title and went to that which accomplishes all title of self. Though fitting, not the correct title also. And so this is what it's all about. It is all about a gradual, dimensional climb to greatness awareness. And this is what the objective of every person on this earth should consist of being your most sought after prize or reward. The identity of thou true self is what is the true that which motivates that which puts into action. Not openness, not extravagance, not fame, fortune, wealth, or all of that. Sex, good food, all of that. Ain't nothing wrong with having good quality food, but for you to want to just go out excessively and dine at fancy restaurants all the time and this and that is another form of ego that needs to be controlled. The main thing is you should be responsible for wanting to feed yourself all the time so you can make sure that you are only ingesting food that you wanted to ingest. In this world that we live in right now, people would do some horrible things to you just because of energies of degeneracy that they have inside of themselves that they would send out to attack you and you don't have to do anything to them. This is just the way our world is. And so I say that to you all to let you know that I am not in one way or another trying to attack or harm anyone. I just had to really give you a responsible description of our earth according to the way I have perceived it through my pineal gland. I use more than just my five senses. Okay, I use my pineal gland over my five senses. You see what I'm saying? So I took you one level higher. I even showed you the spiritual energy in the green light that has taken over the freaking sun and the sun itself is, is emanating that green light. You know, I was telling you guys that they, was, they can flip over school buses there's so much stuff that they can do that they have not done, but they just want to get your attention to let you know, you know what, you guys better stop your bullshit and start paying more attention to what Asari is saying because you don't have a lot of time. We're not going to let you just keep running your ass around here thinking that everything is everything when it's not. 
you see. And even with me saying I'm trying to get that Golden Gate Grids dropped, only thing that'll happen is that they'll drop it when there's no cars on there. They can do that. I know they can. And then when it does drop in the water, the fact that I told you it was going to drop before it did drop will make you say, wait a minute now, we need to start listening to what he's saying. That's the reason why I say stuff like that. I don't want to get a kick out of watching nobody. No more than I would want to have my hands on that bridge falling down in that damn water. I would not want that for anyone else. But like I told you, if a few people had to die to save the big conglomerate of people, then so be it. You know, that's just really the truth about it. I didn't want to have to be the person to come down here and do this job, but since I am the person that's here doing it, and I know that's obvious to me now because things is changing so rapidly, and I'm seeing the whole different format perspective of things from a whole different arrangement of ways I can look at it, it's letting me know right now that there are some very mystical forces at work, and these forces are not to be tampered with. And so I do what they tell me to do because I don't want to be on the receiving end of them when they are administering disobedient rewards. I don't want any of those rewards at all. So this is the thing, you know, this is what we're working with and this is our real world and this, this is a beautiful thing, you know. And somebody is going to have to be responsible for it, so I don't already get myself involved and voluntarily, it seemed like the spirit wanted me to do it more than anything, so I ended up doing it. The spirit got a way of motivating me like that. And so I'm just doing what I do. And I got all the help in the world. I got the sound, but this makes me feel really sad that there's not one person on the earth that can see anything worthy or good in my cause to make them want to join or at least lend a hand, you know? It's like, I got the plague or something, and you all can see that everything I'm saying is straight up true. You can see it all coming true. So I'm hoping that everybody can get their stuff together before uh, things have to get worse. You know, we don't want that. We really don't. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you can understand what's going on. These lights right here, as I've told you before, are emanations of our Supreme Creator Essence. Our Creator sent these lights here as instructed to destroy pretty much the non-believers on this earth. This earth has been sanctioned for repair. All of the ideologies of these stagnant religious centers, the Vatican, and most of these centers of God doings will all be destroyed and eradicated off of the planet. All of these wicked white men on this earth that are imposter governments will all be murdered and wiped off the face of the earth. It's just that simple. All these light orbs that you see flying around in this camera is what they are. They are pictures and actual footage of the space vessels that are encapsulated inside of the larger orbs that you see. They are launched from those orbs. The big colorful burgundy ones and blue ones as well as the green ones and all the different colored ones are huge, huge, what you could call them. See, we have motherships and we have constellations of motherships, okay? Those big purple ones are what you call constellations of motherships. The small ones 